Thank you, Sandy. Um, so th those of you who know me a little bit might be wondering why I'm talking about large language models and not quantum computing. Uh, you know, it's such an exciting, exciting field that uh, I thought it would be it would, it would be remiss of me to not try to step into it a little bit. So, um, okay. So we have a we have a special year on this on this topic coming up next year, uh, starting fall twenty four, and. Uh, uh, you know, as I said, you know, it, it does seem to be a, quite a pivotal moment in the history of computer science. Uh, um, regardless of, you know, how far we believe the revolution is going to go uh, of LLMs. Uh, so at a practical level, it's, it's very clear already, you know, given what's been achieved and what we can see coming, that, uh, that LLMs are going to have a profound effect on human society. Um, but um, maybe there's, you know, for me, there's an even more interesting reason to be interested in it, uh, uh, because uh, um, LLMs really raise very fundamental scientific uh, questions about, about the nature of, uh, of uh, human thought, meaning the brain and computation, uh, intelligence, and linguistics, you know, the nature of linguistics. So I'll say a little bit more about it as we go along. And uh, okay, um, and then there are also these very urgent issues about uh, about uh, 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 responsible AI. You know, how to make sure that uh, that this sort of AI is safe, it's interpretable, uh, fairness, trust. Uh, you know, uh, what's called alignment. So uh, so these are all really important issues that, that come up once we, once we start thinking about all this. So um, since this was such an, such an important moment, uh, uh, earlier this summer, we, we put together a workshop on large language models and transformers. Uh, it was end of, end of the summer. It was, um, uh, it was uh, very enthusiastically received by numerous communities. You know, of course, the theoretical computer science community, but the machine learning community, and then then there were others that participated. You know, people from physics, from from cognitive science, from uh, uh, from linguistics, neuroscience, uh, um, and so just to give you a little bit of a flavor of it, I'll I'll just say uh, a little bit about uh, what happened at this workshop and why why it was so so interesting for people. So um, so. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Yejin Choi uh, spoke about, uh, well, there was this very nice title, Possible Impossibilities and Impossible Possibilities, which, which referred to the fact that, uh, that, you know, we don't yet understand the limits of these models. So, you know, are they, you know, will they go well beyond what, what they do now? You know, are they just stochastic parrots? You know, uh, these, these kinds of questions. Uh, uh, Ilya Sutskever, uh, who is one of the, uh, you know, main ar architects of uh, uh, of uh, LLMs at, at OpenAI, spoke about, uh, gave a very interesting, somewhat theoretical talk about the limits of generalization, but but the but the theoretical talk was about about this these theoretical concepts that guided his design of these transformers, his his design choices, as he was as he was building these. And in the panel afterwards, it was, you know, uh, which, which included the agents, uh, Ilya, et cetera, you know, it, it, it really gave us a sense of, uh, uh, at least on, with Ilya, just how sincerely he believed that this was, this was going to go far, you know, uh, that, the, that, the, that the influence of this, this technology would, would spread far and wide. Uh, Sanjeev spoke about, uh, about uh, some some theoretical work about how do you how do you justify how do you how do you actually understand that emergence happens in these in these uh, in, in these models you know how do you get emerging skills uh, be, based on uh, these so-called scaling laws which which actually come from from a physics-like study of of these models. Um, uh, Miles Cranmer gave a gave a physics view of these of these uh, uh, of of these uh, uh, of how how one can use these models, 
Pamela Samuelson, who is our colleague here, uh, gave a masterful talk about copyright issues in, in LLMs. So she's, she's actually involved in some of the, um, some of the uh, legal cases involving copyright uh, in this. Yes. And, and, um, and she laid out in, you know, in this beautiful way what, what the lines are, you know, how you think about these questions. And it's, it's, it was really quite an education in terms of, you know, it, it's not how one would think about, about it naively. Um, uh, Nicholas Carlini spoke about, uh, ad, you know, uh, about, about uh, adversarial uh, attacks on these models and how you can adapt the usual kinds of vision adversarial attacks to these, these models. Scott uh, spoke about, uh, who, who's actually on, on leave at OpenAI, spoke about how you can watermark these large language models. So. Uh, if you want to know if your if your students turned in homework written by LLMs, you know, could you could you detect it? And uh, Stephen Pantadosi, uh, who is uh, who is also a colleague here, uh, spoke about um, uh, meaning. You know how how uh, you know how large language models are rewriting linguistics. You know uh, in terms of Chomsky and ling linguistics. You know that. That, uh, maybe maybe those foundations are just not not that uh, well formed after all, and and moreover, in addition to in addition to uh, to giving us a new view on linguistics, they're also giving us a new view of how meaning emerges from language. So these are these are really profound questions from a, from from multiple different viewpoints, and um, this is really what what the Simons Institute. Uh, you know, excels at is uh, bringing people together who who can study a subject from multiple different viewpoints. You know, this is uh, being interdisciplinary in a, you know on steroids in in some sense. And um, the way this this workshop was received was also quite quite remarkable. Um, our colleagues in machine learning were were somehow you know to me it felt like they were. Irrationally exuberant about the the workshop, uh, you know they they sort of felt that their uh, conferences and workshops they wished that they included such a such a wide lens, and so uh, so based on based on all this we we decided to put together a special year on on uh, large language models and transformers. Uh, this is a little bit of a break in two different ways uh, from how the Simons Institute usually functions. One is we usually do uh, semester-long programs, and this is a, a year-long program. So, and the second is, even though we we you know we are fairly um, responsive and and do schedule things uh, you know relatively quickly. But there is still a waiting list. You know, it, it, you, we, we usually schedule a couple of years out. But, but this was such an important moment that we, we decided that this really had to be scheduled as soon as possible. And, and so, so it's, it's happening this coming year. Uh, so um, uh, so the, the, the way this will function is the, is the, is the fall 2024 is co-located co uh, with the with the program on generalization, which we can hear about soon, uh, and uh, this is a this is a very fortunate uh, co-location because generalization is of course a key uh, uh, question about you know that we need to address with respect to LLMs, and so uh, you know as with these uh, with with uh, with these programs. Um, you know, we, we start with a boot camp and, and uh, a number of workshops. In this particular case, uh, since we are so interdisciplinary, I think the boot camp is going to play a, play a major role. Uh, we, we really hope that, um, you know, some of the basic concepts here, you know, a transformer, people usually, many people think of this as a very complicated concept. It's really a very simple concept if you lay it out properly. And so we are hoping that we are going to going to be able to do this in this boot camp, and you know, make sure that everybody, not not just the people who are coming to this uh, uh, fresh, but also for 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 the experts, there's a there's a really clean, clear 
backdrop that's set up so that so that our discussions can be focused around it. Um, um, okay, um, let me since since I'm, I'm running on, uh, let, let me just uh, uh, okay. So sorry, let, let, let me say a little bit about about this before going going on. Uh, so in in terms of the in terms of the workshops, the you know. Uh, um, the, the, the workshops are on uh, transformers as a computational model where, where, where we want to think about uh, things like uh, scaling laws, things like um, the efficiency of training, uh, you know, whether, whether, they are, whether one can use linear, uh, these very efficient sampling-based linear algebra approaches to speed up this, these computations. Um, uh, there, there's there's a workshop on on trust alignment uh, copyright issues uh, 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 with LLMs, and then uh, in the spring we have this we have this workshop on uh, which which brings in these very foundational questions having to do with uh, the nature of uh, you know the brain and computation, so and and the uh, and and linguistics. So so here if 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 I were to say what what really, uh, what what I find very compelling about this. So, um, I, I should make a make make a li li little bit of a, uh, of a confession. You know, so th this this wasn't such an out of the blue thing for me. You know, I've dabbled in computational learning theory before, and the question that always interested me was was was, is there a computational model for the brain? And there were. There were all these beautiful models, you know, random interconnect models uh, of neurons. But eventually, the kind of functionality one they always led to was was some sort of associative memory. And with LLMs, for the first time, you see how how you can have a computational model that makes makes sense out of imprecise concepts. You know, so word, you know, what do words mean? Are they a platonic object or you know, but but with LLMs, you make sense of words as being, you know, even though in real life words are, have these fuzzy boundaries, but how do you have a reason about about these objects with fuzzy boundaries? And LLMs do that, and so it really feels like there's a there's a you know one has a little bit of a toehold in terms of thinking about these these issues, and and uh, and there's of course great ex excitement among neuroscientists in terms of using these models and thinking about them. That's, that's one of the things we'll, we'll try to bring into to this, uh, this workshop. Oops, sorry. Okay, so uh, let, me, let me just try to wrap up here. So, so there are a few broad themes we want to, we want to deal with. Uh, the broad umbrella I already spoke about. There's another thing that happened with respect to theory and machine learning about 15 years ago, you know, the two sort of uh, seem to navigate in different directions to the detriment of both. And now with LLMs, there's, a, there's an opportunity to bring them back together, and that's what we want to try to do at the Simons Institute. There's also industry and academia and how they play in this, in this particular space, because, because compute time is such an important thing. And so, you know, where do we find room for industry and academia to collaborate. And, and I think there, there is both in terms of alignment and also in terms of generalization. And so what we're going to be doing is, is uh, holding these mini workshops, which are sort of one day workshops with a certain theme in them for, for them. And the idea is that people like Elia and others who, who are actually working on these in industry, you know, for whom it would not make sense to come and spend the semester here, it would provide people like that, uh, an opportunity to come and engage with us at, in, at an intense level for a short period of time. You know, and that's, that's what we'd, we'd li like to do to make sure that all the things that we are, we are doing here are in some sense aligned with what's, what's, what's actually being built. Okay, so I'll stop here. Well, will you address the recent 
guess, executive order from the uh, administration about, about limiting computation and, and other things like that on LLMs. You know, after reading it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, we have Hung No, who will tell us about our current program on logic and algorithms.